Hi, welcome, Simon here. All right, so this is a Dell laptop. When I turn on the computer, the first thing I see it has a warning message, hard drive not install, and with the QR code. So in other words, that means the laptop hard drive is gone bad. And uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to walk you through step by step on how to do a replacement on a hard drive. So hopefully this laptop might run on a M.2 SSD drive. I believe it is. If not, then it could be just a regular two and a half inch mechanical hard drive. But anyway, let's go ahead and continue. What I'd like to do is power off the computer, press and hold the power button until the computer shuts off. Identify the model here. So let's take a quick look. Um, this is the Dell Inspiron 3501. I know it is hard to see on the reading, but I think that is what it says, 3501. Okay, Dell Inspiron 3501 uh, P90F. All right, so if you have the same laptop as I do and getting that same error message, then more likely the hard drive has gone bad. Uh, there are two things you need to have. I'll kind of walk you through, give you a prerequisite. What are the things you need to have uh, before you start repairing it and what knows that you get stuck in the middle, right? So um, if the computer runs on an M.2 SSD drive, which I believe most of the computer nowadays are running on an M.2 drive, then you do need to have the uh, replacement a brand new M.2 drive, okay? And the second thing you need to have would be the Windows installation key. Now you can either purchase one of this or you can go to Microsoft website and create a bootable Windows installer file. If you go and purchase from my, uh, if you go and download from Microsoft, then it's free. All you have to do is get yourself a USB drive. But if you do not know how to do that, then you can buy one of these licensed USB installer file. It will help to install Windows in that new hard drive. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, first you need to have would be a Phillips screwdriver. This is a, just a regular Phillips screwdriver. Go ahead and remove the screws. And if you're not sure where to buy the tools, the replacement part, check the link down description below. I'll link it where you direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can purchase the replacement part or the tools for this project repair. Okay, you pay attention to it. The top left corner, that screw do, do not come off. And then the top right corner, that screw doesn't come off as well. It's kind of stuck there. Uh, the purpose of the two stuck screw is for you to uh, get a chance to pry open the plastic. So you kind of lift up the plastic already for you um, so that you can easily get underneath and pull the plastic apart, right? So you kind of separate the plastic cover for you. All you have to do is just go underneath and stop removing the plastic cover. All right, once you have removed the plastic cover, you pretty much see the entire um, internal part of your laptop. This is the battery. Do you need to disconnect the battery for the work? Well, you're not necessary, but I do come across a lot of uh, people talking about disconnecting the battery. So let's, why not disconnect the battery? Okay, just an extra steps. Um, why not? So go ahead and disconnect the battery, peel that little tape back. You need to expose the little clipper. The white connector is exposed. Then you can slide that connector down towards your body. And that's how you remove it, okay? Okay, so once you have disconnected the battery, and the next step we like to talk about is the M.2 drive. So the hard drive here is the one that is holding all your information and your windows. Let's go ahead and remove that. So there are two screws, remove it. And then what I like to do is to slide the hard drive towards me. So slide it towards your, your body. And that is the hard drive M.2. This is a, a smaller version of M, M.2 versus the, uh, the bigger one. I'm curious to know what size is this, either 512 or 256. I need to replace the exact same 
hard drive because that was the request that I got. You can upgrade the hard drive if you want, but I'm replacing exact same size. So this is a 256 by Kyozia. Kyozia, whatever the brand is. 256, I have a Western Digital 256. Now, do I need a bracket for this? No, definitely not because that is the full size M.2 and that is the shorter one. So all I have to do is just slide it in. Close it down. I need a screw holding down the hard drive. And that should be it. So the rest of it, I can just put it on the side. I do not need them. And then I just kind of zoom out a little bit. All we have to do is to reconnect the battery. So kind of slide it back in push it all the way in and I have the little tape, tape it back down. That should be it. Now the next step is to close the case back together and have all the screws go back in. Now again, because it's a brand new hard drive, it doesn't have windows on it. In other words, the computer would not boot to windows, right? The computer would just um, says that the hard drive is not found. It's the same error message that you'll be getting, uh, but that is why the reason you need to have the USB ready. That is the second step that I explained at the beginning of the video. You do need to have the uh, installer file. All right, I won't be showing you how to do the installer uh, installation, the OS, because it's a lengthy process. I did make a separate video for that. If you're interested, you can watch that video on how to do the Windows installation. I'll try to link it down in the description below. Go ahead and check that out. Um, but this video here is just strictly telling you how to replace that M.2 when you're getting that error message at the beginning when you power up your Dell computer. All right, if you do find this video is helpful, please smash the like button for me. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, it is free to subscribe. Okay. And if you do find this video really help you and you want to show appreciation, um, there is a super thanks. YouTube super thanks allow you to do donation. Uh, you can donate to the channel or donate to the work. And I show me your appreciation and I'm very grateful for that. All right. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care and bye now.